Six nine kills, reporting for Dread Central, and I'm here tonight at Los Angeles' famous Haunted Hayride. I'm standing here with Melissa Carbone, the CEO of 1031 Productions, the creator of the Haunted Hayride in Los Angeles. How excited are we? It's opening night. What's going through your head? I'm beyond excited because not only is it opening night, it's our 10-year anniversary. Congratulations. Thank you. A decade of LA Haunted Hayride in Los Angeles, so we're, we're excited. We're stoked. It doesn't get any bigger than this for us. That's awesome. Well, yeah. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. 10 years, that's a long time. What, what is keeping people coming back? Obviously, people in Los Angeles love this so much. Mm -hmm. what, what is the key ingredient to getting re repeat business, and what is the key ingredient in being terrifying? You know, for us, this is a super unique model out here in LA, right? Like, we have we have amusement parks, and we have other haunted house type, um, type attractions here. The thing that I think keeps people coming back to LA Haunted Hayride is that it is literally the only time in this town where you can play in the woods at night and get annihilated by monsters, right? So um, part of why we wanted to create the LA Haunted Hayride was we live in a city of, you know, of concrete dwelling, Los Angelinos, we shop, we go to dinner, and we go to movies, right? So to be able to take people and bring them into this wooded environment and, you know, 30 acres of fog and, and an orange glow and, you know, being amongst hay, like it just, it's a feeling um, that you don't really get, you know, in, in a city anymore. So I think that keeps com people coming back. And as far as the 10-year anniversary goes, it is a collection of the fan favorites and the best work we've ever done over the past 10 years all pulled together into one giant massive hayride. So if people don't come back for that, I don't I don't know what else to do. <laughs> well, that is really exciting. Yeah. Uh, as a fellow New Englander, I'm from Massachusetts, you're from Connecticut. Yeah. I remember my first experience uh, with haunted attractions was a hayride in Massachusetts called Spooky World in Berlin, Massachusetts. I know it well. Yeah. And uh, I grew up going to that and you know, they, they kind of transition where they don't have a hayride anymore, and I never quite got that really hayride experience, and walking in the park tonight was the first time I felt like I was back at the good old spooky world, that New England vibe, so I'm oh, so excited yes. to be here and so uh, check out the uh, Los Angeles Haunted Hayride. Can you tell us a little bit about the process of, you know, each year I'm sure new attractions are being added. What's new for 2018? What can people be really excited about for this year's Los Angeles Haunted Hayride? Yeah, again, I think for our 10-year anniversary, the thing that people are going to be the most excited about is that we're bringing back these monstrous fan favorite scenes from the past decade. Like, there's things from year two and three and four that people really, like, hooked into, that they love. They became, like, cult classics, kind of. Um, and you know they've been gone for years and people ask us to bring them back every year we recreate the hayride from beginning to end every single year so they've, they've never been back so this year all of those giant larger than life scenes it's basically an entire trail of nothing but finale scenes so um, it's like one giant finale um, the entire ride which I think is gonna be exciting um, I will say we you had introduced me as the CEO of 1031 productions which I was but we sold our company in this oh, past January wow. to 13th floor entertainment group so 13th floor entertainment group is actually now the owner of the LA haunted hair and I'm still part of that group but um the you know what's exciting about that is we have now attractions in 15 17 18 cities going on right now for Halloween and it's growing every time so we're able to pull a lot of resources um, before from a, from bigger teams and from you know um, a larger infrastructure that we haven't had so I, I'm super excited about that and I think you you'll be able to tell this year in the Hayride. That's awesome. Yeah. You've written a fantastic book it's getting a lot of great press can you Thank tell you. us a little bit about that are you super excited that people are are reading what you've done and maybe you're getting inspired to do their own thing and create uh, an empire of their own. Yeah thanks for asking about that by the way. Um, I am so so excited about the book I can't believe it every day um, when you know I get I have been getting reviews and feedback from people and it's amazing but the thing that you know that I love the most about that book and really the reason that I wrote it is because I think it broke down entrepreneurialism and just like jumping into like a thought or an idea or a risk into this like very granular um, like fundamental way that people can grasp and I keep getting um, notes from you know aspiring magic makers about how excited they are to, to like take the leap you know, and that's all I wanted to do was kind of like unlock more magic makers in the world. Because I think there's a lot of them, and the only thing that stops them is literally taking that first step. So, um, so I've been I've been very very humbled by a lot of that that feedback, and um, it's been important to me. So yeah, I've loved the process of having a book out, and it's 
been great. That's fantastic. Yeah. I'm sure the book will inspire other people to, you know, have a dream and then really just go and get it I and make so. it happen. I hope so, yeah. So thank you so much for chatting yes. with us. Thanks for highlighting us and focusing on us and loving us for 10 years. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. And we're going to check out the Haunted Hayride tonight. It's going to be scary. I can't wait. Melissa, thanks so much. You got it.